What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel tag and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell by my soul tribe, I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. Um, I got one channel message in for you as I was meditating on your weekly energy, and the message I received was regret, regrets of the past. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, that could be you having regrets of the past or someone you're connected to having regrets of the past. There's some kind of regrets of the past energy. So you plug that in, however that resonates for you, if that resonates for you. Um, this is for the sign of Sag. This could resonate if you have Sag in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine and Jupiter for charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, free journal reading. So it's only important to take the messages that resonate. Um, oh, I was going to say something else. Um, oh, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. That's what I was going to say. Sorry. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. Um, I appreciate all the love and support. I truly, truly, truly do. From the bottom of my heart chakra, I really do. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. The moon reversed. Nine of swords upright. For some, the Sagittarius is about to deliver some cold, hard truth. True truth now. Not sugar-coated. And for some, some, for some Sagittarius, is someone's going to deliver cold, hard truth to you. Not sugar-coated. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. A lot of cold, hard truth. My goodness. So for some, you're going to deliver cold, hard truth, not sugar-coated. So in the past, you uh, feel you might have sugar-coated the truth in some shape, form, or fashion, or you covered up the truth, um, but you're about to deliver it cold, hard style. Um, so to the damn point, boom, just saying. And for some of you guys, um, somebody's going to deliver it to you. Cold, hard truth, not sugar-coated. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. You've got a masculine energy, it looks like, delivering you this truth if you were the one about to get it delivered from someone else. But energies can be reversed. It's coming in and throw energetically as masculine energy, but it could be a femme energy that takes on masculine energy because um, energies can be reversed. So you plug that in your life, however that resonates, if that resonates with you. But some kind of cold, hard truth, not sugar-coated energy. I mean, so they're just going to give it to you. They're going to give it to you straight up. Facts, baby, facts. Just saying, not nicey nice slap with the slap with the lie. Um, true truth. Some is regarding a family member fraud. Some is regarding having to give up stolen money. Okay, I heard some is regarding a family member fraud, and some it's regarding having to give up stolen money. And some is learning that a family member is about to go to jail. Okay, I heard it. And some is learning that a family member is about to go to jail. To jail. So you plug it in however that resonates. So for some, it's um, learning a family member is a fraud. Some it's learning uh, having to give up some kind of stolen money. And some it's um, learning a family member is about to go to jail. I feel that's the energy of the person about to deliver you the truth. Um, this masculine energy or femme energy it takes on masculine energy, delivering you the cold hard truth. And for some, you are delivering the cold hard truth. For some, it could be on a family member going to jail. For some, it could be on giving up stolen money, whether you're giving it up or somebody else connected to you is giving it up. Um, and for some, regarding a family member being a fraud. So you either delivering this cold hard truth or somebody delivering it to you. The secret's coming out. You, for some, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Uh, this is Pisces energy or not. If you are, they get Pisces in the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or the meeting with Jupiter. And for some, it's regarding a doppelganger fraud. Okay, and for some, it's regarding a doppelganger fraud. So, a doppelganger fraud. Doppelganger is somebody that looks identically like somebody, or very, not identically, but very similar, identically like somebody, but they're a fraud. They're a fraud. So, that could be you delivering this information or somebody you're connected to delivering this information. You plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, wow, a lot going on here.
Do not miss it and see how it reflected. I mean, for Saj. The Hierophant, Nine of Wands, Reverse. Someone's going to want to come to work together with the Sag. Collaborate. Business owner Sagittarius. Use your best discernment. Highly opportunistic person. Okay, so you plug it in if this resonates with you. All right, so um, whoever this is for, you're a business owner Sagittarius. So you own a business, either a sole proprietorship or LLC. But I heard someone's going to want to come collaborate with you. And we're, um, so they want to work together with you, with the, with your business. Um, sounds like business partnership energy, but you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard they are basically a con artist. Um, so I would use my best discernment on this, best logic, discernment, and reasoning on this. Um, this is the business contract energy. They want to enter in a business contract with you, but I heard it's your business. So it sounds like they just want to take from you. They just want to take, 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 take. Uh, for some, they might put in a little work, but... It sounds like you've already homegrown this business from like the ground freaking up for a lot of you guys, I feel. And um, I heard of a very opportunistic energy. So um, so they just want to come take from you, basically. They just want to come take. You've done all the hard work, leg work and the footwork, and um, but they want to come take from you. So I would just be very careful if this, if this is for you. So nine of wands reversed. Um, I think this is you turning down the offer for some of you guys. For some, you could, of course, you have free will and you could choose to accept it or not. But I heard they're a heavy con, con artist. So they're going to come in very loving, very, oh, how are you? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Um, really showing lots of desire, drive, and motivation towards you. But they doing that for strategic reasons because they want to get in with you, basically. They want to get in with you to get a piece of your pie, basically, your financial pie, your business owner. So I would be careful. Of course, you have free will and you can choose to accept this person in if you want to. But um, I mean, I'm a business owner myself. I understand that. I understand putting all the time, sweat, blood and tears into something. I understand it. So I would just use my best logic, discernment and judgment and reasoning with this, if this resonates with you. Fear messages you have sign of Sagittarius. A Sagittarius is about to go to jail soon. Oh my god, I heard a Sag is about to go to jail soon too. We have a lot of people going to jail up in here. We've got a family member of a Sagittarius about to go to jail. We've got a Sagittarius about to go to jail. We've got a lot of uh, jail energy, a lot of jail energy, dear God Almighty. And I mean, I don't, I think like as inmates, I don't, you know, this is not officer energy. This is like going to jail for a crime or crimes. Ace of Swords upright, King of Cups upright. This, a Sagittarius is about to learn the truth of a very manipulative masculine energy. Some water sign, masculine, some Gemini energy. Very manipulative and controlling. Has not seen it in the past, but you're about to see it in a huge way. False mask is about to come off. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. So you're pulling in Gemini, masculine energy, and Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, masculine energy, if this reson resonates with you. 
I did hear masculine, but you know, for some, it could be a very feminine, uh, very masculine femme energy, possibly. Uh, you plug it in, how it resonates. But Gemini masculine, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio masculine energy. Um, I heard you did not see it in the past, but they're very, apparently very manipulative and controlling, but you're about to see it now. Um, uh, false mask about to come off. So however you're about to see it, however you're connected to them. So you got Ace of Swords upright, so it's the truth. You're about to see the truth of who they really are, basically. Uh, they have put on some kind of false mask energy for you in the past, kind of like some kind of wolf and sheep's clothing energy. Um, they came off to you in public as one way or in private as one way, but they're really another way, but you're about to see the other way. Um, whoever this is and however they apply to your life. It could be a lover, a past lover, a co-worker, a family member, um, a client, a partner, well, I said partner, um, some uh, somebody in the community, a ball coach, a, a teacher, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But um, you're, about to, you're about to see the false mask energy come off. And um, so it sounds like some kind of series of chain of events. False mask energy is about to come off. It's a Gemini masculine for some of you guys. And for some, it's a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio masculine energy or a feminine energy that takes on very heavy masculine energy. You plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. But you're about to see the truth of this person. Ace of Swords Upright is the truth. You're about to see the truth, the real truth of them soon. Um, I think they have just been lolly, lolly, like just. They've just been snowing you, basically. They've been snowing the hell out of you. But you're about you're either highly intuitive or you're about to become highly intuitive and you're about to pick up on it. You're about to pick up on it. About to have a huge, huge, huge wake up call. Huge wake up call. Okay, I heard you're about to have a huge, huge, huge wake up call, a huge wake up call. So you're about to have a huge wake up call to this Gemini masculine. Um, or the Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine or both you plug it in how it resonates uh, for some it could be one person you're dealing with that this occurs within your life for some it could be two or more you plug it in how it resonates if that resonates for you wow okay well, we're gonna pull oracle card Bear messages here up on of Sagittarius. A Sagittarius is about to find out about very serious legal issues, very serious legal changes soon. Okay, I heard a Sag is about to find out about very serious legal changes soon. So that could be very serious legal changes to you or somebody you're connected to. You plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates with you. I heard take it reverse, power reverse. Number 16 could be very significant um, in some shape, form, or fashion in your life. Number 16. Also number 15, 22, and 24. And 14. Okay, also number 14, 15, 22, and 24. Um, those could be possible ages of somebody you're connected to, or it could be possible social security number, possible green card number, possible um, um, lottery number, um, significant numbers you're seeing out on reoccur reoccurrent numbers you're seeing out on billboards in some shape, form, or fashion. You plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, power reverse. A Scorpio is about to end things with the Sagittarius soon. Secret lover. It's going to piss the Sagittarius off because they were very loyal. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, if that resonates with you. I heard a um, Scorpio is about to end things with the Sag soon. Um, secret lover energy, but I heard they're about to... Um, they're about to end it with you, Sag. Um, but um, I heard it's going to basically piss you off because you were very loyal to them. So power reverse. So you have no power in the situation. Um, you were their secret lover in some shape, form, or fashion. 
but you're about to end it with them. Or he, um, he or she, Scorpio, is about to end it with you. So it's going to leave you feeling very weak and powerless because you, if they end it, they end it. Um, and it's going to leave you feeling very weak, basically. So you plug it in, how it resonates. But you are the secret lover to this Scorpio. It could be a masculine friend Scorpio. They could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the moon, or Jupiter. You plug it in, how it fits, if that resonates with you. And there's about to be shocking happenings happening to a family member soon. Positive shocking happenings. You're not going to like them because you won't be in control. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, and I heard there's about to be shocking positive happenings to a particular family member soon, whoever this is and how they plug into your life. But I heard um, you won't um, you won't be in control of it, so um, it's going to leave you feeling upset because you won't be in control of it. Maybe in the past you wanted control or you had control in some shape, form, or fashion, but you don't have control now. Power reverse, so um, um, you're not going to like it if that resonates with you. you know, maybe just for one or two of you guys, possibly that resonates with. All right, you guys, I love you guys so much. I hope everybody makes wonderful choices and I hope this reading helped. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media. I'd very much appreciate it, you guys. Love you guys. Namaste.